In this video, I'm going to set up an account on Stand Uply and integrate it with my Slack so you can see the power of this tool. If you're using Slack, you're going to love this. If you're not using Slack, you might actually find a reason why you want to do so. So stay tuned for this one. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to try to set up an account on StandUply.com. This is a Slack bot, so this only works with Slack. I think they might have some plans to expand it, but you know how I love Slack, so check out my other videos on Slack. That's the, the center of communication for my business. But what StandUply does, it kind of get the gist from the name StandUp Meetings. It's a way, uh, especially if you're doing agile development, to send a questionnaire or a poll or a brief survey to all the members of your team and get their updates and then it'll take that and bring it into uh, a nice formatted report for you. So it's, it's a great way to do those stand-up meetings. Now, if you look at their use cases, there's a lot of things here, video messages, follow-up polls, all sorts of things. And I would say that this is not just a development tool. Anybody who does an agile approach, any kind of team agile approach, whether it be agile marketing or agile sale, sales or agile anything, can do this type of quick update type of thing without having a full meeting. And I talked about that in episode 71 of our podcast where I talked about how to run your internal meetings like a tech smart boss. You don't want to spend a lot of time wasted having meetings and generally you know your hour-long weekly meeting is kind of kind of a waste of time if you could do a quick status uh, query every day a little stand-up meeting and have people say you know what are they working on what's their plan you know what's their roadblocks and bring that all together for a quick glance you can avoid a lot of your meetings so i'm going to go ahead and sign up for their trial here 30-day free trial no credit card required you know i love that and see how it works and I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and and give this a shot you can see they got some tiers and plans they got a free plan that you can start with so you don't have to pay for this initially but the more you do the more integrations they have the more conditional logic and all those sorts of things and of course I can see all their features that they have and all their things there let's go ahead and just start a free trial now you know when I uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Slack since we, eh, you know what, you know my feeling about doing uh, social sign-in type things. What happens when you lose your Slack account? So I'm actually gonna go ahead and sign up with my Tech Smart Boss email. Then once we get into the account, I will uh, integrate it with Slack. I, I bet you if I had gone ahead and signed up right away with Slack, it'd probably take a lot of that uh, integration. Um, for me but let's go ahead and create a brand new account so I'm gonna sign up let's just go through their normal onboarding okay so the first thing that they want me to do is to integrate with slack makes complete sense now I click this button I've already authenticated my slack uh, organization in this browser so it should recognize it so let's go ahead and click add to slack I always work recommend you do those sorts of things so you don't have to re-sign in and see there it did it so I'm in my slack organization I'm going to go ahead and authorize Stand Uply, and let's see what else it might have me do during this process. Nothing. Pretty slick. All right, so let's see. We created a test Stand Up report with everything pre-filled. So again, I like that onboarding. They're going to show me right away what I can expect from their product as I do this trial. And I don't have to do a lot of setup, and it makes these videos go pretty, pretty well as well. All right, so I'm in a, a sample report of those. And this gives you an example that you can set up every 10 a.m. every week. This is really useful from what I was reading if you have uh, members of your team spread across different time zones because it can handle all of that, that time zone uh, management. Looks like uh, we got a request, results. Let's go ahead and expand this. Okay, that's the expansion. Let's click on this and let's just start clicking around seeing what we see. So trending GIF of the day. GIF or GIF, what do you say? Um, so that's the request. Let's see what the results are. And you can say where it puts your results. I'm not seeing a lot that I understand from just looking at this. So what I'm gonna do is let's click a whole, let's just build a new report here. 
and see what happens. All right, so create report. Now, they give you some templates, which is nice. Your classic stand-up report, advanced, different types of uh, things. They got some team goals, mood, 360 surveys, time tracking. Actually, I could use that time tracking. I got, I got one person that's hard to get their time on the pay period. Uh, and then they've got integration. So let's do a classic stand-up report, which is basically those those couple of questions that I mentioned. Start day. Let's start it. Um, let's start it today. Actually, let's start it to today. Time zone. When do I want to send this? Let's look at my respondents now. I should be able to see a list of uh, all my team members. I'm just gonna go ahead and put myself in there. So I'll just fuzz out everybody else. Three questions. What did you do yesterday? What do you plan on doing today? Any obstacles? And that's it. So looks like I could go in and make my own or I could use what they have here, which is nice. And they also have this video. So if people don't want to respond, if it's too much they want to say without typing, they can type, they can do a video, which is, which is really nice. Waiting time, end time reminder. Very nice. I like that. All right. Let's see where I want to deliver the results. I want to deliver it to... I want to deliver it to myself. So let's do that. I'm the manager. But you'll notice the options here. I could put this to the entire team via a channel or a private channel. I like that because a lot of integrations don't support private channels, which is what I recommend you use. I could also email it. So you, people don't have to be in Slack, uh, but they will have to be in Slack to do the response. And it's got web hooks here. So we could hook it up to Zapier. We could do a whole lot of cool things there as well. All right. Done and run. There it is. Now, I notice that my Slack is over here popping, so things are happening as I'm doing things here. Let's just take a peek and see what's plopping. I'll blur out a lot of these, but there we go. So now, Standuply has an app integration here, and I can kind of see that I've successfully created the report. It says, talk to you soon, with a little robot face there. All right, that's nice. Let's see if it's anything I can do to kind of trigger this right now. Let's let's run it now. All right, that's good. I'm going to run this now. All right, here we go. So it just started. Check it out. So I, I like it. This is easy and intuitive. So now it posted a question to me. Come on, it's time to start the stand-up meeting. Please answer these three questions. I can snooze it. They got quick replies when I snooze, which is nice. So it's not too uh, uh, much of a pain in the butt. I could do my video voice answer, which we saw, which is an easy way to go through it. What did you do, do yesterday? I did a video for Tech Smart Boss. I hope I can erase these because this is actually in my business here. What do you plan on doing today? Sleeping. I'm just having fun. I wish I could get some sleep. Any obstacles? I have too much work to sleep. That is a true statement right there. Got it. And then there's the results because I put the results back to myself. And then let's take a look at the results. There it is. So again, I think I see the power here to do quite a bit in terms of building all types of surveys and all types of automated polling type of things, setting them up, having them on a schedule, emailing them to a team, collecting responses and bringing them up into a stand-up uh, report. Let's look at history. I should probably be able to see that report. There it is, which is nice. And from what I understand, inside this standout report, I could build all sorts of uh, integrations and start to pull stuff from all the sources that they integrate with. So I think if I go into settings, dashboards, I saw those integrations a little bit before. Let's go into here and edit this report. And take a look. Uh, it might be the pull requests are the integrations. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if I add an integration here, you'll see that they got all sorts of things that you can do. Well, that's a little bit different than the integrations I saw. But somewhere in here are integrations to a lot of the development tools and project management tools. And even a test review. So that's pretty cool. All right. Hey, I'm going to play around some more with this. But if this is if you're using Slack, I think this is a tool 
that you should definitely look at bringing on board um, because it can re really help automate a lot of the data gathering that you might be doing on your team. Uh, if you're not using Slack, then check out our videos on Slack. You might want to start using it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook page. Every Sunday, we come up with a new video, so stay tuned for the next one.